Hello everyone! Are you trying to launch your favorite game, only to be hit with a frustrating fail to load IL-2 CPP fatal error? It's a common problem that can stop you right in your tracks. But don't worry, in this guide, we're going to walk through several easy steps to fix this error and get you back to gaming. First, let's start with the simplest solution. Just restart the game. If that doesn't work, try restarting your entire computer. This can often clear up temporary glitches that cause these kinds of errors. If the error persists, our next step is to verify the integrity of your game files. This is a crucial step and often the main solution. If you're using a platform like Steam, go to your library, right-click on the problematic game, and select Properties. From there, navigate to the Local Files tab and click on the button that says Verify Integrity of Game Files. This process will scan for any corrupted or missing files and automatically replace them. For many people, this is all you'll need to do. If you're still stuck, let's move on to updates. Outdated software is a major cause of game errors. You need to make sure your graphics card drivers are fully up to date. Whether you have an NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel GPU, visit their official website and download the latest drivers for your specific model. Also, don't forget to check for Windows updates. Go to your settings and run the Windows Update tool to ensure your operating system is current. Sometimes, your own security software can be the culprit. Your antivirus or firewall might mistakenly flag a game file as a threat and block it. Open your antivirus program and add the game's entire installation folder to its exception or exclusion list. You can also try temporarily disabling your antivirus just to test if the game launches. If it does, you found the problem. Just remember to re-enable it afterwards for your safety. Another simple but effective trick is to run the game with administrative privileges. This gives the game the necessary permissions to access all the files it needs. Find the game's main executable file, usually ending in .exe, inside the installation folder. Right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. If all else fails, it might be time for a clean reinstall. Uninstall the game completely from your system, then download and install it again. This ensures you have a fresh, uncorrupted copy of all game files. Hopefully, one of these solutions worked for you and you're now able to play your game without any issues. Getting rid of that error message is a great feeling. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If this guide was helpful, please show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Your support really motivates me to create more helpful guides for you. Let me know in the comments which step fixed it for you.